What's up, what's good, what's poppin', what's crackin', what's perkin', what's really good in the hood, it's your man Theo Butler coming to you again, you know what I'm saying, it's another low-key hashtag recast the child video, uh, so yeah, we gonna do it like that, I told you, I got stuff coming, I got stuff coming, so, wordplay, wordplay, yeah, I, I touched on that last week, especially with Kevin Feige's usage of the word iconic in regards to Chadwick Boseman's, the late great Chadwick Boseman's portrayal of T'Challa and how it was so iconic that he did it better than anybody else, basically. Oh, nobody else compares to him. Mind you, Chadwick Boseman is the only actor to portray T'Challa in live action. That's that's not necessarily true with a whole bunch of other people, though. And I've never heard anybody use the word iconic. They just keep portraying these, they just keep recasting these roles. Let's go down the list. So, <laughs> T'Challa was created in 1966, yeah, and it, 2021 was when we got the live action portrayal. I was good. I was glad for that one. I, I was born in 68, so can you imagine? It, it, it took a minute. It took. I was born in 68. I'm 53. It took a minute. Two years, longer than I'd have been alive, for me to get a live action movie. So T'Challa came out in 2018. Let me see, it's 2021. Take the three, so I was 50. So that means I was 50. It took 52 years for T'Challa to go from comic book to live action. 52 years. Let me say that again. Um, but yeah, Lewis Wilson, Batman. Batman and had a lot of actors portray him. Way more than T'Challa. Live action. They actually had this dude in the movie theater. Back in 1943, Columbia. Hey, Crystalline. Columbia. Lewis G. Wilson played Batman in 1943. This is a 15 part serial. Yeah. Lewis G. Wilson, number one. Let's see here. The second guy to play Batman was Robert Lowry. Mike Lowry. Robert Lowry. He took up the role in 1949. 1949. He played Batman. In the serial. I mean, he got some shows. But Robert Lowry. Picked up the mantle of Batman in 1949. Look at that. And the Batman that I grew up on. Now, this was the dude that I grew up on. I grew up on Adam West. Yeah, Adam West came around in uh 19, he was goofy. But yeah, Adam West came around. He was the third Batman. He was the third Batman. That's crazy. He passed away in 1971. He did. Passed away in 1971. But yeah, Adam West picked up the Batman in the 60s. He did. That was my Batman. That was my Batman, Adam West. And then we got Michael Keaton. I did not see that one coming because I remember Matt, Michael Keaton for all the wrong stuff. But yeah, Michael Keaton was the next Batman. He he knocked that role out of the park, by the way. I, I didn't expect that. Uh, Tim Burton, Michael Keaton, hell of a... Uh, pairing. Y'all did that. Michael Keaton. Then we got Val Kilmer. How many actors is that, by the way? Let's see. Five. Val Kilmer number five? Yeah. Val Kilmer is number five. 
George Clooney. Look at you. you see these names they got up there? Val Kilmer. I know some of y'all don't remember Val Kilmer, but Val Kilmer used to be that deal. They was like Val Kilmer, Tom Cruise. They was in the same movie. Yeah, they talking about coming back out with that movie. I don't know why, because they should be retired. Top Gun. Top Gun, yeah. Top Gun was that deal. Man, the ladies used to love them some Val Kilmer. Oh, good God of mine, they used to love them some Val Kilmer. All the boys, not me, because I could not be Val Kilmer. But all the boys that looked like Val Kilmer wanted to be Val Kilmer. Hell yeah, yeah, Val Kilmer was that deal. And then you had smooth George Clooney. Came in with the nipple costume. George Clooney. Christian Bale. What is that? Is his name right Come on. Because Adam West made three. Michael Keaton was four. Val Kilmer made five. George Clooney made six. Christian Bale makes seven. Younger generation. Up under me, that's y'all Batman, Christian Bale. Y'all looked out because that right up under you. That whole George Clooney thing was crazy. And yeah, Christian Bale makes seven. These are all live action actors. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck make nine. Nine. Ooh, they doing them better. They doing them justice too. They be getting some top notch act. They never say they ain't got no actors to replace theirs though. We say that. They ain't never got nobody. They ain't, they replacing them. They'll never say they can't replace the actor. Um, question though, which one of these y'all think was iconic? Oh, Robert Pattinson is gonna be no, the tenth actor to play Batman. What's your favorite? What's your what's your most iconic portrayal, live action portrayal of of, of Bruce Wayne? I got one to chop. Chadwick Boseman. That's my only live action portrayal. When you say the word iconic, Kevin Feige. When you say the word iconic, and I only got one. I can't speak for my other brothers and sisters, but damn, bro, I ain't that damn dumb. They got 10 actors that then play Batman live action. Bruce Wayne live action. Which one of them roles is iconic? Because I told you, Adam West was my Batman. Adam West was my Batman. And if I had to say which portrayal of Batman was most iconic, was iconic in and of itself, portrayal of Batman out of all of them is iconic. You see how tough this is when you got a whole bunch of them to go through? I got 10, and I ain't even seen Robert Pattinson's yet. But I don't, it's real, it's real easy. For me to say Chadwick Boseman. Because I ain't got nothing to compare that to. Ain't nobody that damn dumb, Kevin. Marvel Studios. Ryan Coogler. The cast of Black Panther 2. I'm not that stupid. I'm not. And I'm going to keep talking. Keep educating my brothers and sisters. So they don't be that. So they not. They not stupid either. Contrary to what y'all might be thinking. Because y'all trying to pull the wool over people. I, I'm looking at this like damn. Michael Keaton's portrayal of Batman is iconic to me because what the hell is, if we had to compare, compare Christian Bale's portrayal of Batman, who would we compare it to? Michael Keaton. My bad. Let me stop saying that. If we had to compare Christian Bale's portrayal of Bruce Wayne slash Batman, who would we compare it to? Because it ain't George Clooney. It ain't Val Kilmer. It ain't none of the dudes that I just named. And it damn sure ain't Robert Pattinson. My mind is Michael Keaton. Because Michael Keaton, that was it. But I got something to compare it to. See what I just said? I don't have anything to compare Chadwick Boseman's portrayal. And damn, all them actors that I just named, they pretty damn good, ain't they? Huh, Kevin? Huh, huh non-recast fans? The list of actors that I just read out to play Batman... Bruce Wayne, that's pretty damn good, ain't it? Stop letting people tell you that we can't act. Because that's exactly what Kevin Feige told you. And that's exactly what that damn crew that at Black Panther 2 signing off to. Signing off on.
Stop letting people tell you we can't do something. And stop letting people tell you we can't, we can't step up and have each other's back. That we can't get the job done. It's real simple. I said it once. I'm going to say it again. You want to make money. I want you to make some money. You want to make a movie. I want you to make a movie. We just got this one little detail that's a problem. You don't want to recast the child. I'm telling you to recast the child. You don't recast the child. You don't make no move, no money. I don't think that's what you want. And Marvel don't want to take no L unless that's what you unless that's what you're deliberately doing. And if that's what you're deliberately doing, Kevin, I'm gonna call you on it right now. Either put the child in the movie, living. You not killing him off. Recast him. Or we're going to boycott the movie. And that boycott voice is getting louder and louder every damn day. It's not going to stop. It's going to get louder to the point where you hear it in your sleep. Recast T'Challa or else. Real simple. You want to make the money? We want you to make the money. You want to make the movie? We want you to make the movie. We want you to put T'Challa in it. Put T'Challa in it so we don't have no problems. Recast T'Challa, bro. Do the right thing. Get out your way. Don't let this be the L that you take. You got a lot of money going on right now. Don't let Marvel Studios get a black eye behind not recasting T'Challa. Don't let this become a racial issue. It's not what you want. Not in 2021. And I'm going to make it that because that's exactly what that is. So actually, I'm not making it that. I'm just going to be shining some light on it. If that's what it is. You don't want that. You want to make this money. You got Shang-Chi. You got the Marvels coming out. Come on, bro. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't make me expose you for what you are right now. Don't make me expose Marvel Studios for what they're doing right now with T'Challa as a character. Don't make me do that. I don't want to. I got other stuff I'd rather be doing. Really. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.